Hi, welcome to Data Coder. In this channel, I am going to create a series of videos including face and advanced SAS programming. In this particular video, I am going to discuss about different windows in SAS system, syntax to write a SAS statement, steps in SAS programming, types of variables, and SAS naming convention. So, if you are a coder or non coder looking forward a career transition to SAS programming, you can watch all my upcoming videos and learn SAS programming. So, let's get started. SAS stands for Statistical Analysis System and it's a software developed by SAS Institute for Advanced Analytics, Multivariate Analysis, Business Intelligence, Data Management, and Predictive Analytics. Using SAS, we can access data from different sources. We can access data from a database, we can access data from Excel or CSV file, we can access data stored in a notepad or text file. We can manage data using different SAS programming techniques. We can analyze the data and we can present data by creating different reports or graphs. Let's discuss about different windows in SAS system. So this is the SAS software and uh, here we have total 5 windows. The first window is the editor window. In editor window, we are going to write all our SAS program or SAS codes. Let me write a code. Let me write another piece of code. So here I have written a simple SAS program and to execute the program I need to click on the submit button or I can press F3 from the keyboard. If I want to execute any particular piece of code then I can select that piece of code and click on the submit button. While my execution is ongoing if I want to terminate the execution then I can click on the break button it will terminate the execution. To go to a new editor. I need to click on the new window. So, when we execute a SAS program in the editor window, the SAS output is divided into two major parts, SAS log and SAS output. So, the next window we are going to discuss is SAS log. SAS log will contain all the execution details of your program. If your uh, program has any error or warnings, all these things will be displayed in the log window. So, whatever code we have written in the editor window, same code will be displayed in the log window in black color text. Our execution details or notes will display in blue color text. If your program has any error, those things will display in red color text in the log. So, here I am just removing a semicolon. So, I am making a syntax error over here. So, if I will execute the program now, in my log, I will get an error. And your program uh, have any warnings, those things will display in green color text in the log. So, here I am just making a typo over here. Now, if I will execute this program in my log, I will get a warning. So, even if I am getting a warning over here, still I am able to generate the output. So, it is a best programming practice to check your log each time you execute your program. Next window is the output window. In output window, we are going to see the output of our program and the output generated in a particular session will be stored in the result window. So, here I have executed this program three times. So, three output has been generated in the result window. Next window is the explore window. In explore window, we are going to see the list of all the system libraries. And if we want to browse any system supported files, then we can browse over here. For example, if I have a SAS data set in my local drive and I want to access that data set in this session, then I can create a library and through library, I can access that local file from my computer to this SAS session. In our upcoming videos, we are going to learn how to create a library and how to access the system supported files. Next, we will see the introduction to SAS program. Here we will see the uh, syntax to write a SAS statement. Uh, so, every SAS statement starts with an identifying keyword and it ends with a semicolon. 
So, here in the example 1, if you see the first statement started with the identifying keyword data and it ends with semicolon. Even the second statement started with the identifying keyword set and it ends with semicolon. The third statement started with the identifying keyword run ends with semicolon. So, here in this code, I have three statements. Next rule is such codes are not case sensitive. So, we can write such as code in either lower case or upper case or mixed case. In the example 2, I have written the code using mixed, mixed case. Next is we can write multiple statement in single line or we can split single statement to multiple lines. In example 3.1, if you see, uh, in the second line, I have written two statement and in example 3.2, the first line and second line all together is a single statement. Next is steps in a SAS program. In SAS, we have two steps, data step and proc step. Data step used to create SAS data sets and proc step used to process the SAS data sets. So, data processing consists of sorting the data, creating a report, creating graph, etc. This is the example of a SAS data step and this is the example of a SAS proc step. Any SAS program consists of one or more data or proc steps and any step uh, is a combination of multiple SAS statements. So, let me go to the SAS window. Here in this program, I have this is the data step and this is the proc step. In this data step, I have three statements and in this proc step, I have two statements. So, in, in our upcoming videos, we are going to learn how to create a SAS data set by writing a data step and how to uh, create a report by writing a SAS proc step. Next is step boundaries. A step always begins with a data or proc keyword and ends with a run or quit statement. If there is no run or quit statement, then the step will end if it will come across the beginning of another data or proc statement. So, here if you see the first step started with the keyword data and it ends when it come across a run statement. For the second step, it started with the keyword proc but there is no run or quit statement. So, it will end when it will come across the beginning of another data or proc statement. So, the second step will end when it will come across the beginning of this proc, step, proc sort step. And for the third uh, proc st step, it started with the keyword proc and it ends with the run statement. Next is variable. In SAS, we have two types of variables, character variable and numeric variable. Character variable can contain any letter, underscore, number and or special characters. One character equals to one byte. Maximum length can be 32,767 byte. Missing values are displayed as blank. So, here is the example I have created two variable name and sex and these two variables are defined as a character. So, the value entered for the variable name is Alfred. So, according to this rule, one character equals to one byte, the length of the variable name is 6 and in the same way, the length uh, for the variable sex is m. Next is numeric variable, it can contain floating point number, default length is 8 bytes can store up to 16 to 17 numbers in 8 bytes of storage space. Missing values are displayed as dot. Here is the example. I have created three variables, age, height and weight. And whatever value we entered for these variables, the default length will be 8 because these three variables are defined as a numeric. And if we have a missing value for this numeric variable, it will display as dot. So, let us go to the SAS. Here if you see, this is a data set and here this uh, variable uh, name is name and its type is character and if you go to see this type of this variable as it is numeric. So, in the upcoming videos, we are going to see how to create a uh, character variable or how to create a numeric variable. Next is rules to create such data set or variable name or we can say such names. SAS names should start with letter or underscore, subsequent character can be letter, underscore or numbers. Maximum length is 32 and can be uppercase, lowercase or mixed case. It is not case sensitive. 
example uh, here i have created some sas names and we will see if those are valid name or invalid names var1 this is a valid name next is var space 1 this is invalid because there is a space in the name which is not allowed next is one var this is invalid because it started with a number next is var underscore 1 this is a valid sas name next is var at the rate 1 this is a invalid sas name because there is a special character in the name next is underscore var this is a valid sas name so based on the concept we have learned in this video i have uh, i have just put some questions over here so you can post the video over here and try to answer all these questions you can write your answer in the comment box thanks for watching the video if you wish to watch more videos on base and advanced SAS programming then you can subscribe to the channel if you like this video please press like button if you want me to uh, make video on any particular topic you can comment thank you and see you on the next topic